reporting for Katie Chats here at Jean Recon in Guelph, Ontario with Nick Johnston and Mark Rakoff. How did the two of you meet and start working together? Um, I guess I saw Mark playing, uh, doing a show in Guelph. It was, uh, what was it called again, the small one? That's the Art in the Street Art on the Street, show. Yes. Yeah. And I saw this amazing artwork, it just jumped out. Mark's got kind of a sci-fi B-movie style compared to the traditional just painting and Actually, there was a lot of knitting going on there, and, and, and for me, as a musician, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. So hey, you don't like knitting? That's okay. Oh. I prefer crocheting, but... Uh, um, cross-stitch. Cross-stitch. <laughs> cross -stitch. Yeah. You have a great cross-stitch. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw Mark's artwork, and uh, immediately I was like, wow, because I was about to put an instrumental album out, and I didn't have any artwork. I had no idea how to get in touch with anyone doing artwork. Um, and with instrumental music, because there's no lyrics, you try and get something that's visually really strong to actually back the music up. And this guy's work was, was perfect for that, as anyone could see if they checked out anything he's ever done. So then I sent you an email. You, you did? I sent you did. Email, didn't I? I think you did. Or yeah. My assistant sent you an email. No, Your <laughs> assistant <laughs> sent me an email. My assistant got yeah, the yeah. email. Well, your and second assistant. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Your dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I sent him an email and then we just started talking and I sent him a bunch of tunes and we hit it off. Actually, at first we hated each other. Um, we, yeah, we were yeah. fighting, <laughs> cat scratch. You know, we just didn't like. Yeah. No, so that, I, I jumped at the chance to do uh, Nick's album because I, I really miss the old days when you had a nice big 12-inch album cover. You put the record on and you, you looked at the album cover, and I thought, that's disappearing. You know, we're getting music online and we're, we're getting little tiny iPods. And you, you don't get the artwork. Yeah. You don't get that visual association with the music. So I want to keep that really strong with my artwork and Nick was a perfect opportunity to uh, to do that. So what he means is I said do whatever you want and he, he got to do whatever you wanted. That's why I, I, so I love when a client says do whatever you want. Yeah. That's the perfect words for me. Yeah. <laughs> and what has the feedback been like from fans? Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. been great. It's been great. We've been uh, setting up the comic book shows and and whatever shows we can get. We have uh, Nick playing live on the Stratocaster, just blowing away everybody, <laughs> and uh, comes people come to the to the table and they check out all the artwork at the same time. So yeah, it's yeah. working out. It's a lot of fun. And what's the number one question that fans ask you at these conventions? Uh, that's I don't know. There's there's quite a few. Uh, Which way to the bathroom? That, well, that <laughs> no? yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is that hair real? That one too. It's <laughs> a big one. Uh, <laughs> No, there's not really any typical because they don't know what's going on. Like they see someone playing music at a comic convention, it's not it's common. A little it's different. not common. It's a little different. It's a little different, so it, it draws people. I think yeah. you see something that you're not quite expecting to see. Yeah, absolutely. So. the most uh, important thing for us, anyways, right now. Exactly. We're just starting with this stuff, so it's like gotta, you know, break some ground. And, sure. and how do you explain it to them when they're like, "Well, what are what are you doing?" Well, we just kind of give yeah. us our little backstory and and uh, we let them watch. Yeah, but the most important thing is we actually have we have the product now. We actually have a comic book, so it actually gives us some legitimacy as opposed to like anyone can come in and play a guitar. It's like what are you what are you doing here? Like, yeah. but us, it's like we have a comic, we have a concept, and and uh, Nick came building and said, a brand. Yeah. I I really want to do a comic book, and I'm a comic book guy too. So I thought this is great. How do we how do we do a comic book about Nick playing his guitar? How do you how do you how do you get that? How do you how do you do uh, audio with a comic book? So we work on a story, and we've got uh, we've got a, a succession of comics that are coming out. They're all limited edition, and uh, there'll only be a hundred. We'll sign each one of them, and whoever gets them are lucky to get them. And after that, we'll see what where it goes from there. So we took all the characters that are on Nick's album, and writing the stories around those characters. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And have you noticed anyone else doing what you're doing? Uh, no, 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 no. And no. We, we hear that a lot too. We hear, you know, you've never seen this before. You guys are doing something new. I've been approaching different companies within the guitar world that are really interested to work with us because, like, it's a brand new market for them. And, and you know, people just aren't doing this. It makes sense though. Like, they, yeah. they people should be doing this. Yeah. It's, it's. I mean, how many album covers have you seen where there's a person standing there holding their guitar? I mean, it gets a little tiresome. I mean, let's let's have a bit of fun with it. Let's mix it up. Let's give them a story that they can imagine, uh, along with some great, amazing rock and roll guitar. And are you in the story at all in the comic? Uh, I might. You know, might, you might, you, I, might I might be in there. It depends. You'll be like eight feet tall with like big <laughs> muscles. <and> <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and where is the best place to find out more information on both of you and on the work you're doing online? Uh, through me, for sure. Yeah, I do a lot of YouTube work, Facebook. I have my own website, so everything's linked to Mark. Yeah, and uh, there's a We're store both. and everything. So yeah, tons of info for sure. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, you. and congratulations on all of your innovative work. And I can't wait to see more in the future. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks. Thank Thanks for your time. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at GenreCon in Guelph, Ontario. <laughs>